Hey guys, it's Legend Arma TV. It's great to see you again. Today we're going to be talking about stats. Now, stats in every game are quite important. Without the stats, you won't be able to do anything. So, in today's video, I'm going to explain to you every stat that we have, and also remind you and explain why additional damage is actually one of the most important stats in this game. Please enjoy. In the world of Vindictus, there are two different type of characters, either physical characters or magical characters. Now, physical characters uh, focus on strength and attack, while the magical characters focus on intel and magic attack. Now, let us go through the stats one by one. Strength. Every point of strength that you're going to gain is going to increase your attack by 2.7. So the ratio is 1 to 2.7. So let's say uh, you increased your strength by 300. That means that uh, you're going to have a total of 810 attack boost to your character. Uh, these are quite important because uh, attack is uh, one of the most important things because you need to attack cap the battles to make sure you're dealing the damage properly. So uh, it's worth it and uh, strength uh, usually comes... Uh, from the armor and the weapons as you're using the composited <clears throat> items or also a, they come from the titles and the uh, synthesis. Next up is agility. Agility is a secondary stat just like strength and others and it increases your defense. It also speeds up the stamina regeneration and the ability to get up after being knocked down as it says in the uh, preview. Now, agility uh, has a hard cap at 2,000. Once, you reach, once your agility reaches to 2,000, you are not going to benefit any, anything anymore from it. So this stat basically becomes useless once you have baseline 2k agility. So uh, focus on getting to 2k so you increase your def and the stamina regeneration speed. Next up is INT, or Intelligence. It works the same as Strength uh, for physical characters increasing their attack for magical characters using magic attack. But um, it's a little bit different. The ratio is actually uh, 2 to 1 right here. So for every point of Intel, you're going to have two points of magic attack. So if you increase your intel by 100, it will increase your magic attack by 200. And that's about it. Next up is willpower. Now, willpower increases the maximum amounts of HP that you're going to have, uh, boosts your critical rate and critical uh, resistance, uh, and lowers the chance at being knocked down or incapacitated. This stat, just like Agility, caps at 2000, so once you reach 2000, it will no longer give you the critical rate, maximum HP, and so on. So focus on working on that, you gain that from Synthesis as well, and uh, it comes from all the parts that you gain from the armors and weapons, so there is that. Luck. Now, luck is a interesting thing, and uh, there was uh, there was actually a guide uh, that's been put up by Nexon themselves explaining how luck works. Basically, the more luck you have, the more chances you have for a duplicate luck cores that drop from the boss. So the more luck you have, the more cores drop. Luck doesn't necessarily increase your chances of obtaining, you know, rare items like enchant scrolls or essences. It just increases uh, the chance of obtaining extra cores. So the more cores you have, the more chances you might have for uh, rare items. Max HP. In every game, whenever your HP drops to zero, you die. So whenever you uh, max your HPs, and there is a uh, HP uh, skill that you can actually level up, it increases your pool of health. Uh, reach at zero, you die. That's it. It's There is nothing really to explain here. Maximum stamina. Now, stamina is a green bar that you can see underneath the health bar that you have. All the skills, all the moves that you do uh, spend stamina. And once you reach zero stamina, your character is going to go into the 
retired animation in which you can't defend yourself, you can't attack, you need to replenish it. You, you have to wait for it to replenish. Now, it replenishes naturally whenever you're out of combat. And um, basically every character in the game have skills that uh, restores that stamina. Make sure you pay attention to the stamina bar. It's quite crucial because if you run out of it or you get hit by the abilities of the bosses that actually zap the stamina, you're going to be in trouble. Balance. Balance is a primary stat that your character has. And it's very, very important. Balance dictates the variance in your attack damage. So let's have a little example right here. Let's say your character has 80 balance. Every attack that your character is going to do is going to deal between 80% to 100% of the damage the game calculates it can do. So, uh, basically, uh, if you have 85 balance, the gap is going to be 85% to 100%. So, the more balance you have, the shorter the gap, so it's better. Currently, the balance cap, the soft one, is 90. The hard cap is 95. But after 90... Uh, it becomes a 3 to 1 ratio to increase it uh, any further towards 95. So let's say you have 98 balance, for example, and it would show you 92 in the character window and will act like 92. The leftover 2 balance that you have is just going to be wasted. It's, it's not going to be in use at all. This cap will also expand to 100 once the 110 patch is going to come live for NA and EU, which is unfortunately not going to be soon because uh, Korea is only having that next week. But um, they will actually revert these changes, uh, that is uh, the ratio 3 to 1, so it's going to be the ratio 1 to 1 across the board. But currently, after 90 balance, it's going to be 3 to 1, so keep that in mind. Uh, make sure you focus on the balance and uh, make sure you are close to 90. It's quite important because uh, the less balance you have, the wider the range is going to be. So you're going to have different, different numbers in your damage output. Attack speed. Attack speed determines how fast your character attacks and uses some of the defense abilities. Basically, you want to have as much uh, attack speed as possible, and uh, the attack speed usually comes from uh, your weapon and their enhancement level. So the higher the enhancement level of your weapon, the more uh, baseline attack speed you gain, plus the enchant scrolls that you put on your gear. Attack surplus. Quite scuffed and quite complex stat to explain. Uh, in short, it basically increases the overall damage that your character is doing. However, there's one thing behind it. In order for attack surplus to work, you have to make sure that you are over the attack cap. So let's say the attack cap for the battle is 40k, and you have 42k attack yourself. So you're 2000 um, attack over the cap. If you don't have any attack surplus, you're not going to deal uh, extra damage past the 40k cap. You need to raise your attack surplus, and it will uh, start working towards your attack that your character has. So the more attack you're over the cap and attack surplus that you have, the more damage you're going to do past the attack cap of the battle. I know it sounds quite complex, but... Uh, and super confusing, but attack surplus is something that you really need to focus at the very end, after all the other stats. So uh, don't quite don't don't worry about it too much, and just focus on the other stats first. Also oh, for the attack cap, um, for the attack surplus, sorry. Uh, it, this stat is subject to a level penalty. So whenever you're going to have uh, the equipment that is uh, five levels uh, lower than the boss's battle, only 90% of the attack surplus is going to take effect. And if it's more, then it's going to be 80%. So the worse gear you have, right, the less relevant gear you have, the less attack surplus is going to be applied there. It's... Uh, the stat is uh, pretty strong and important because it increases the overall damage that your character is going to do in the battles. 
And um, I don't quite remember the uh, complete formula for it, but all I can say is that every 1,000 of attack surplus stat that you have is going to roughly increase your character's damage output by 5%. So if you have 5,000 attack surplus, your overall damage output is going to be increased by 25%, which is huge. Attack and magic attack basically determines how much damage you deal to the monsters and bosses in the raids. Uh, the more you have, the more damage you do. However, there are uh, such thing in this game called attack cap, and every Vindictus boss um, has attack cap of its own. So once you reach that attack cap, you're not going to deal extra damage if you have um, more attack than the cap, unless you have attack surplus. And we talked about it in the previous tab, so if you're over the attack cap and you have attack surplus, you will actually deal more damage. If you don't have attack surplus, once you reach the cap, your damage is not going to increase anymore. So magic attack and attack are quite important because you need to reach these attack caps for every battles. So just focus on it, make sure that uh, you stay relevant to the uh, relevant bosses and the upcoming bosses, so whenever you, whenever they get released, you will be prepared for it and you will be attack capped. It's quite important and don't forget about it. Death or defense. Now, bosses in Vindictus has their own attack values, and the more attack they have, the more damage you're going to receive whenever you're going to get hit. So, the more defense that you have is going to make sure that you take less damage from these hits. It's quite important, and defense comes from the armors, so make sure to stack it as much as possible. And um, honestly, once you get really good at this game, this stat is actually going to be quite useless. Because if you don't get hit, you don't get hit, you don't receive any damage, you don't need any defense. PvP attack, or magic attack, and PvP defense. Now these stats are the same as attack and defense, but in PvP only. And uh, the PvP in this game is uh, <clears throat> quite bad, let's say. L let's just be generous here, be nice, and say that it is just very bad. However, if you're a fan of PvP and you go there, make sure that you have as much PvP uh, attack and defense as possible. The more defense you have, the less damage you're going to receive there. Uh, that's about it. Uh, PvP is not popular at all in Vindictus, so I wouldn't really worry about these stats at all. Critical or Critical Rate. Another important stat that your character has. It represents the chance of landing a critical hit that deals more damage. Now, the crit cap in this game is 50%. You can go higher than that. So, in order to calculate how much critical the value that you have in the window you need, you have to consult with the boss's info. So, if we go to the uh, quick battle, for example, and choose Claire, we need to look into the critical resistance of this boss. Her critical resistance is 116. And as I said, the critical cap is 50. So in order to reach the critical cap, so have 50% chance to critical hit the boss, for Claire we need 166. So 116 plus 50. So once you have 166, that means that you're going to be critical capped for this boss and you're going to have 50% chance to crit. It's quite important stat because uh, critical hits deal more damage, so it's a damage boost to your character. So consult with every boss that you're going into and look into their critical resistance. Look at their critical resistance and add 50 to it, and you will know the exact value of critical rate that you will need for this boss battle. Critical damage. Critical damage is a multiplier for how much damage your critical hits will do. The majority of crit damage comes from your critical hit skill. At rank 3, it grants plus 65% critical damage increase. Uh, the remaining portion comes from strength or intel, depending on your character's stat type, up to 2000. The cap for critical damage is 195%, except for the sword land, uh, because he has a skill that adds a further 30% to it and raises it to 225%. 
Basically, uh, this stat um, raises naturally, and um, sooner or later you're going to hit the cap, which is 195. So uh, just don't worry about it too much. It's, uh, but, but it's still there, and it's important as well. Critical Resistance. Now, this stat represents uh, the chance of avoiding the critical hits on us. In order to figure out how much critical resistance we need, we have to look into the boss's info once again. And this time, we're going to look at the critical raid that the boss has. Always consult with the boss's info and look at their critical raid. The amount of critical raid that they have is the amount of critical resistance that we need to fully crit resist camp this boss battle. So, Claire's critical rate is 155, which means that having 155 critical resist will allow us to negate most of the critical hits on us. Now, every boss has a 3% chance flat to be able to crit, uh, to land a critical hit on us. The rest is gets covered by the critical resistance. So the more crit res you have, the less chance you're going to have being critically hit by the boss, which in return will just deplete your health even more. Additional damage. Now, additional damage is the most important stat in Vindictus, and a lot of people actually overlook it. Now, let's uh, talk about this stat a little bit in depth. Additional damage is not a flat damage increase to your attacks. It is an extra source of attack or magic attack that is not subject to the attack cap. There is quite a bit of number work involved in determining the exact ratio of it, but there is a convenient reference point to use. When you are attack capped for a battle, and let's say you have zero attack surplus, this ratio is 1 to 6.25. What that means is that if you have 4,000 additional damage, you're not getting plus 4,000 attack or magic attack. You are actually getting plus 25,000 attack and magic attack. It's pretty, pretty insane. And if you just want a short explanation of it, additional damage is a damage multiplier. And it's a huge damage multiplier. It's kind of like what Attack Surplus does, but Attack Surplus is significantly less effective, effective than additional damage. Thus, you would want um, to focus on the additional damage as much as possible. It's an imperative to enhance your weapon and armors as fast as possible, so you gain this additional damage. Current uh, cap is 6400, which means that all of your pieces, so five pieces of armor and your weapon, are all plus 15. I really can't stretch enough how important this uh, stat is and how strong this stat is. So make sure, if you want to become stronger, to focus on the additional damage. And finally, lastly, the last stat that we're going to be talking about today is Counterforce. Counterforce is a stat that only starts applying at level 100 and up battles. For enemies that have Counterforce resistance, the damage you can deal to them is heavily reduced unless you have sufficient Counterforce to hit through their resistance and do full damage. Capping this for a battle requires you to have 100 more Counterforce than the boss's Counterforce resistance. So, let's go to Claire once again and look into the info. Her CF resistance, which is counterforce resistance, is 5. And all we need to do is to add 100 to it. So, in order to deal 100% damage to Claire with this counterforce, we need 105 counterforce stat on us. This stat is a, a huge gold sink, um, and it literally just uh, shackles you from doing more damage, so you need to make sure that you enhance your accessories, increasing your counterforce, so you deal more damage. If you are not counterforce capped, you, the amount of damage that you're going to be dealing in the battle is going to be sig significantly less. So make sure you're always counterforce capped for it, and don't forget to add 100 to the uh, counterforce resistance of the boss. And that's it for today, covering the stats in Vindictus. Huge shout out and thank you to Shippo, my guildmate, who created um, a topic on his forums uh, regarding all the stats in the game.
I'm going to drop the link to his forums uh, in the video description so you guys can check it out and read more in-depth about every stat and other things that he posts there. Thank you so much for watching. This was Legend Arma TV. Subscribe to YouTube channel, join my Discord, and stop by Twitch. Guys, I love you 3000. Please be safe, and I see you very, very soon.